okay, I've got, <coughs> I've got one melted there, so I'll just melt the other one. <coughs> and while that's going, I start putting some heat into this bearing. <coughs> I want enough heat into that so that it's just melting the surface of that pre-flux metal that we put on or tinning that we put on before. We want this at the same temperature as the, uh, as the white metal. And that way the white metal will bond to the tin surface of the connecting rod. Quite often in the old days they did this cold uh, and a lot of a lot of the time, the the white metal didn't bond to the steel. Uh, this caused great problems. If the white metal is bonded to the steel or the connecting rod, then it has a tendency to absorb any heat that gets into the bearing. This is why I don't like slipper bearings in engines that only have splash lubrication. Now, all right for, for fresher lubrication, but for splash it just doesn't, they just don't dissipate the heat enough. I've just got a bit of white metal here, put on the surface there. Needs a little bit more heat. At the same time, I keep this moving here. So that I just melt that. That's just getting to about the right temperature there now. This is pretty good. It's melting the, the white metal is melted there. Put a little bit on there. Pour a bit more heat into it. Especially that centre one. And the base. We're going to turn this down a bit. That's just melted there now, that's just nice. I don't want to go too much hotter than that, otherwise it'll start oxidising. Okay, now we've heated this up. We've just got a little bit of white metal there on the base. And it's melting that, so that base is quite hot. We can just heat all around here. I've got a bit of welding wire here which I dip into my pot here and I just check I just check that I've got enough yeah that's melting around there see that melting there so that bearing is hot enough it's not overheat not over hot it's just it's just melting that that tin surface there now I just make sure my pot's right here not too much heat I just heat the spout up a bit there so it doesn't cool as it comes out. Turn that down. That should be right. Just come over. see it coming up the other side that's it just fill that right up there and now we get the mild steel rod and we can push it right to the bottom there. See that's still molten all the way to the bottom. And that means that it's now bonding or it's bonded onto the side of the the sides of the the connecting rod there. Both at the same temperature 
and this is how I like it. This I, I know that that's got good bonding. We've tinned the connecting rod. We pour the white metal in there and it'll stick to it. We just puddle it around there a bit, scratch the side. Any, um, any oxides or scale or anything will just float to the surface. Now the main thing here is we cool from the bottom. Okay, as we cool from the bottom, if the top is molten, then it, as the metal shrinks, the white metal will go down into the um, into the area that's pulled apart. If we solidify it at the top and then it starts solidifying at the bottom then we'll end up getting a hole in the middle. This is what we don't want. So what I try and do is to make sure that the top is always molten. And I can get my little torch And I can just run it round the top there and it keeps the heat in that and we keep that molten at the top. I just feel it there. It's starting to get a little bit heavy, as I say, it's starting to solidify. Keep it warm at the top. That's starting to solidify there now. You can see, you can feel it. I can feel it poking down there. This one's a little bit. See how it's sticking to the rod? Well, that means it's starting to get a bit cold. So I can just melt that back, keep that top molten. Alright, there's the last little bit. You can just see it's still molten on the top there. And we'll just leave that V now. Okay, now it's cooled. We can undo the, uh, the nuts. Bolt. Off the tank. We can screw back in the, the bolt again. Block of wood. That's it. Knock it apart, and there it is all apart, and you can see that we've got, it's still pretty warm there, you see we've got good metal just through the, um, the main trunk of the bearing there, no holes, good bonding to the side, nice shape, and uh, now we just take it over and put on the buff clean it up. And there we have it, all buffed up. We now drill the holes out before we turn it up and just dress the top off. I'll show you how to do that <coughs> when we do the uh, turning. Alright, well good luck with it. Thank you.